Welcome to this short tutorial on how to create a form using Google Forms. During the entire tutorial series, I'll show you how to create the form, how to send your form results after you've delivered it into a spreadsheet, and then how to download that spreadsheet into something like Excel where you can run more complicated statistics. So we're going to go into our Google Drive, and that's drive.google.com and sign in with your CFC username and password. Under the New button, to open a new form, you're going to come down to More. And over here on the side, just choose Google Forms. Now you'll notice that you can do a blank form or a template, but I'm just going to do a blank form. All right, so here's my default form. First thing you want to do is give your form a title, whatever it is and maybe a description if that's appropriate. And now let's get started adding our questions. So the first question it gives you is a multiple choice, but my first question is going to be name, because instead of a survey, I'm really going to use this for data collection. So I'm going to type in name, and you can see that Google Forms is smart enough to recognize that name is going to be a short answer field instead of a multiple choice field. Now let's add another question. I'm going to click the plus sign over here, and this time we're going to add a multiple choice question. Now you'll see over here on the side I have several question types that I can ask. Short answer is usually used for just a small amount of text. Paragraph obviously used for more text. Multiple choice, check boxes, and drop downs all are basically the same thing with the exception of the fact that checkboxes allows you to select all that applies versus multiple choice and drop down which only allow you to select one choice. File upload. Linear scale gives you sort of a, a Likert scale but it is one question at a time. Multiple choice grid and checkbox grid are another question type I'll show you here in this tutorial and the difference between them is again multiple choice allows you to select one answer per line whereas checkbox grid allows you to select multiple things and then an auto insert of a date and time so I'm gonna leave this at multiple choice and I'm gonna type in my question and then down here it's gonna give me some suggestions and I can, I can just click Add All, or I can come in and just type whatever it is I want. If I would like to reorder them, which in this case I would, you'll see that I have these little boxes next to Prefer Not to Say. If I grab that, I can drag it below Transgender and leave it be. Now you'll also notice that I have an Other, so that they can click Other, and then they'll have to tell me what the Other is. So that's multiple choice. Now let's drop down and add another question. And this time I'm going to show you how to add a multiple choice grid. This one comes in handy when you have a lot of questions that are going to be rated on the exact same scale. So, all right, so I'm gonna ask them to rate how well they like the following. Now, these are the following. How well do you like the Liberty Street Cafeteria? All right, so on the rows, it's how well do I like the following, All right? The columns are rating how well I like something. So I'm going to say not at all, a little, I love it. Okay, so that's our ratings. All right, so those are the basic ways that you ask different questions. You click the plus sign. You write in the question, you choose your question type, and then you add your answers if those are appropriate. Notice that you can also add an image to your answers and an image to your question if you want. If I'd like to delete a question, I just click the trash can under the question. And here, if I would like to make the question required, I can by just clicking this over to purple. Same up here with the gender question, I can make it required. So now let's take a quick look at our form. And we can do that up here at the top by clicking on the eyeball, the preview eyeball. All right, here's our name, here's our gender. 
can see I can only select one because I chose multiple choice. And then this is what the grid question looks like. And again, I can only select one in each item in each row rather because I chose to have multiple choice instead of multi-select. This is also telling me as the person filling out the form that this requires one response per row, which means that I can't submit this form until I have filled out everything. All right, and then we'll click Submit. So you'll notice it's opened a new tab. I'm just going to close that tab. And now you'll see that I have one response. All right, so that ends this tutorial on how to make a basic Google form. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to take this basic form and use branching questions to send your users to different parts of the form based on their answers to a question.